This is New Day Northwest. Welcome back to New Day. With the news that a famous pop star was drinking from his shoes, Barney got a makeover, and the new season of Love is Blind is shooting in Seattle, well, clearly we needed a moment to discuss all that. And that moment is now with a round of Hot Topics. Back for more is diversity, <laughs> equity, and inclusion professional Lindsay Jackson, who also loves a good dish session. <laughs> Longtime radio host Jackie Cunningham and executive producer Joseph. Good morning. Welcome. I love hey. this panel. <laughs> okay. First, let's talk Lent. Mm -hmm. Many Catholics and Christians all over the world are celebrating Lent. Mm -hmm. But did you know that the filet of fish sandwich is with us because of that? I, we did, all, not I that. did not know that. We it's all good. have a filet of fish. Mm -hmm. um, Lou Grone, I think his name was a, is a McDonald's, was a McDonald's <laughs> owner in Cincinnati in the 60s, and he invented the sandwich because a lot of his um, <clears throat> patrons were uh, Catholic, and so he needed something that they would eat, and so he invented this. Because and McDonald's Catholics said, don't "Yes, eat on Friday yes, mm -hmm. thank you yes. for that." That's why you can eat your fillet of fish if you want, or you don't have to. I feel like you heated it up for us too, which was mm -hmm. super nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought my mom was the only person that still ordered these. Fun. What I found mm -hmm. from the bad. good folks in Bellevue McDonald's oh. is a lot of people come in, especially during Lent, mm -hmm. for these. Still, what do you think? Are, we, are you a fillet of fish fan? This one's a little dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why? Well, okay. I have no moisture in my mouth right now. Maybe a little dry. Yeah, no, it's super, super dry. Yeah, I grew up Catholic, and uh, every, not every Friday, but I feel like my dad would not eat meat on Friday, so we would go mm -hmm. to like Skipper's sometimes on mm -hmm. Friday for like a fish moment. Never fillet a fish, though, sorry. No? Okay. But I do like a fillet a fish, though. Okay. And so. Lindsay, I think you said you haven't had one in a long time. Yeah, I was really surprised to learn that this was a Catholic tradition. I thought this was like a strong McDonald's black culture play because... Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, you know, a fish sandwich. I remember my uncle in the South had a restaurant and that was the main dish, the fish fillet. See, fish I thought it was like um, just trying to give, you know, there's not a lot of vegetarian options or mm -hmm. I just always thought it was because they didn't have something for people that maybe didn't eat red meat. Eat red meat, yeah. right. <laughs> nope, I yeah. did not know it was Lent though. Go Lou in Cincinnati, <laughs> right? And what about Lent? I know um, a lot of people, even non-Catholics mm. or celebrate Lent by making some kind of, um, sac it's a sacrifice for mm -hmm. 40 days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I like the idea of this. And Joseph, you are somebody who has, has uh, practiced Lent mm -hmm. and making this. I've done this. Lent many times. I've given what up are, Have you given something up this year? I'm not doing it this year, but in previous years I've done soda, alcohol. That's a popular I, one. I even did coffee one time and that was very intense. Oh but, you what know, were you thinking? I know. But it is, <laughs> but, you know, I think it's a good time to like reflect on choices yeah. you make and just think about things you do in life. and. Lent's a good time for that. See, my trick is always to give up. I'll go, like, I'm not Catholic, but I tell my best friend who is that I give up diet and exercise. Mm. <laughs> and it's been like five years, and I'm still trying to not disappoint God. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. It makes me feel better, you know. It, well, and, you know, it's that dip. Are we really paying attention to the intention behind the season, yeah. or mm -hmm. are we like, I'm going to use this as a great time to really get off alcohol for yeah. a good yeah. 30 yes. days? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have to be things you give up. Um, I actually read something that I thought was interesting where they said that maybe instead of giving something up, you start something like mm. more kindness, more. Oh, I, I didn't know. realize it worked that you could do it. That I mean, way. I'm just saying you can set your own rules. Yeah. I'm just saying. Joseph said no. He's not going with that. I'm sticking with the say, diet and exercise. Forty days of sacrifice. But okay. Forty days of sacrifice. Okay. I do All right. Though that the fish sandwich seems to be bringing cultures together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. We all we did, had no clue until we read about Lou in right? Cincinnati. <laughs> Good Go old Lou. Lou. All right. Well, the new <laughs> season of Love Is Blind is set in Seattle. Is that necessarily a good thing? Jackie, would you kind of fill us in on what it's all about? Well, mm. I watched all of season one. My son and I binge watched it during COVID. And um, it basically, and I feel horrible saying this, it, it, you're, these people go into these pods and they have a wall where they can't see the people they're talking <laughs> to. It's supposed to be to meet people. Sounds horrible. And genuinely fall in love based on personality and not looks. I don't even know if they can describe what they look like. I can't remember. but. Um, I just know that that would be really hard for me because I just feel like you have to, like what if they reveal this person that you're now, it propo that's proposed to you. Right, wow. And you're like, 
horrified by their looks. And it's 30, it's about, I think we looked it up, it's about 38 days from meeting mm -hmm. with the, in the pod to marriage. Yeah. What do we think about this? I think it's bonkers. Well, it never <laughs> goes well after they're out in the real world and they actually do have to deal with each other. I mean, that's the irony is that like, yeah, they got along so great when they were in the pods because that was also a bubble of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then they go out and they just, there have been, I think, a few couples maybe that have worked out, but it, it's it kind of ends up being a giant dumpster fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can even see my face on camera. Like this is just <laughs> everything cringe worthy, right? All packaged into a thirty-minute special. It's just tell sense, us like, more. This is what's wrong with our society. But you know, somehow I still watch that whole season. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joseph, yeah. you have feelings on I this show. I think it's an absolutely like ridiculous premise for a show. I've never seen it. I probably mm -hmm. will watch some of it since it's in Seattle, but I absolutely yeah. think we should try and get those folks in the Seattle season on this show. Absolutely. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Lindsay, yeah. what would you say this says about us? Oh, I mean, one, the idea that we're uh, teaching young people that love can be found in 30 days and or sustained mm -hmm. yeah. after that based yeah. on something so superficial. Two, uh, we know that as an animal, we do you know, take in what we're seeing as a part of our... There has to be our, some attraction. There has to be <laughs> yeah, some attraction. Like, you know, agreed. that's why birds bring twigs to try to, like, flirt with other birds. I feel like, like that is the best twig. We love them. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love that. Birds uh -huh. bring twigs. Like, do they get to shove twigs <laughs> underneath, like, a <laughs> slot in the show or something? Is there Put your sure twig in. be not superficial. Like, they're okay. saying by taking looks out, they don't want you to be superficial, uh, but I just feel like that that's a big part of when you meet someone yeah. and are attracted okay. to them. Like, all right, well, we'll I'll be watching, though, I have a feeling. And so let's transition a little bit, still talking about relationships. Can you or would you or have you worked with mm. your significant other? Live with Kelly and Ryan. Mm -hmm. um, this is big news. Yeah, yeah. The, Ryan Seacrest is leaving the show, and it looks like it's now going to be Kelly and her husband, Mark Consuelos. <laughs> Uh, I happen to know choice. that a couple of people in this room have worked with their uh, significant mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. I, mm. When I knew that this topic was going to be on today, I was like, New Day Northwest set me up. <laughs> 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 because I did host a morning radio show with yes. my now ex-husband, probably really? 17 years together. What was that called? Wow. Um, it was uh, Jackie and Bender on Kiss <laughs> FM. Um, and, you know, when you're... When you split up from your spouse, like it's not normal to be in a soundproof studio for five hours a day. It's just not mm. normal. Mm -hmm. um, and we were really real with our audience, so we were honest when we split up and when we were going through a divorce and stuff. But it it can be pretty awkward. Yeah. Like even just arguments. Like I do, I I hope Kelly and Mark <laughs> can pull yeah. this off, but. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, he fills he fills in and he does a good job when yeah. you know, he gets and filling in is very different. Yeah, yeah. Than yeah. Every that's single very, day. That's very true. Yeah, I, I don't think I I know I couldn't do it. Joseph, you've actually worked with yes. uh, your boyfriend, right? Yes, Tyler and I. <laughs> well, he actually works in local TV as well, not at this station, right. but at another station across the street. And um, but we both worked at Costco together. That's how I met at Costco. Yes, and that oh, was nice. a really <laughs> you know Costco such a crazy environment though that you know I didn't really interact with him super much at work. But yeah, I've worked with. Yeah. Yeah. Have you worked yeah. with Scott, Susie? I worked with him in the same TV station. He was in sales and I was in Wait. broadcasting. Oh, I did not know that. When we first wow. started out, and it was actually great in the beginning, but I now I don't think we could work in the same actual location. He worked in sales. Yeah. He worked in sales. Oh, yeah, TV See, and I feel, so like wow. it's, I, I feel like a lot of couples probably could work together in certain jobs, but when it's like Kelly and right. Mark or like when I was doing yeah. radio, yeah. you go in and you have to try to put a smile on and you can, so the emotions That's like are next level. Yeah. being yeah. Sh shown yeah. to the world. See, that would be my thing. It would be mm -hmm. like, yes, Kelly, could you please <laughs> right? pass me the <laughs> right. microphone? I mean, I'm like, not going to say my, you... my ex yeah. and I did some passive aggressive arguing. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're friends yeah. now. Which only but makes it... for a better radio show, oh. but maybe not a marriage. <laughs> yeah, for you All right. guys. <laughs> <laughs> on a completely different oh. subject, would you do a shoey? So evidently, it's no. a thing in Australia for sports stars, musicians to drink from a shoe, usually alcohol when celebrating. So Harry Styles drank from, no. drank water from a sweaty sneaker. Ooh. This is actually uh, Australian uh, Formula One, but here's Harry Styles. Oh, no, no, He no, was no. in Australia gross. and people were not having it. I bet that's so I lived in Australia for 10 years <laughs> and I've never heard about it. Oh, you weren't just drinking what out of your gym shoes? Australia, yeah. I hate like, that. What part of Australia is this? I have never heard of it's a, a it's, it's a thing <laughs> nope. there and they love it. That was Formula One race driver. Wow. And also even Pat Patrick Stewart, who is Joseph's mentor oh, from Star Trek, he Patrick actually- Picard would never. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. See, I think the problem for me is 
is the sweaty shoe thing. Yes, the sweaty. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm just going to try it. Yeah, I'm, I, just, I think that as a I, new... I'm going to try no, it. Okay. Now, I would, okay. Diet oh, Coke. is that the shoe you were wearing? Yes, oh my you okay. just took it off her foot. Okay, I'm going to give this oh, a try. No. I think it's going to be We're going to wow. see. Zesty. I mean, Susie you know, when, no, this morning. when celebrating... Oh, my God. Let me give this a try. You are a treat. my new hero. Oh, my God. How is that? Okay, well, I mean, I'd like a little ice with my Diet Coke. It's still too warm. Her only complaint is it's too warm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, it's not so bad. All right, now yeah, somebody, but I, now, now if you had else gone, pass you a shoe. that is gross. Yeah, you, know, you ran yeah. in that shoe. Okay. I feel like it'd be different. Look, <laughs> look. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. But to be right. fair, it oh. did touch a little bit of the leather Maybe, of your shoe. Maybe, but you so. know what? That is so gross. Yeah. No, I rest, I could do it. no We were talking about it in the office, and Susie was like, "This is not that gross," and the rest of us were just like horrified that like you're like, "No, it is." This. No, but is there anybody's shoe that you're like, "I don't care if I could drink out of their shoe, that's who I'd want." Yeah. I'd drink out of George Clooney's shoe, I think. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. Maybe and I have Brad a creepy Pitt. fascination with Timothy Chalamet, who's oh. like oh. half my age. Sure, I drink okay. out of his shoe. Lindsay, you have the last word. Would you any shoe uh, you drink out of? Anybody's shoe I could drink out of. Oh, this is the pressure. Oh. Um, <laughs> just say no. no. <laughs> just say yes. I, I can't. I can't. It's so nope. gross that Let I can't. Yet <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was able to spout off two names in five seconds. I love that. Mm. What is wrong with All that? All right. Well, thank you. This was a lot of fun. All right. Well, next I'm going.